Hi guys, it's Elle here to do a quick little spread for Aquarius. Still in Aquarius season, so they go first. Uh, this will be for February, mid mid February until the end of February, probably early March. So what is the general energies from the Aquarius? General energies from the Aquarius men and women. Sun, moon, and rising. Thank you for those who have subscribed, liked, shared, commented to the video post. Thank you for the general energies for Aquarius. True, accurate messages for Aquarius. Messages of love and light. Messages to guide, guard their lives. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Aquarius. All right. Whatever comes out is just that could be money could be love messages for Aquarius nine of Pentacles nice the fool Ooh, nice Queen of Pentacles two of wands in the present energy you're actively making a decision actively you're moving on something in the past you were defensive and standing your ground with the Seven of Wands. Near future, Knight of Pentacles. Nice. All right. And in your power, we have the Ten of Wands. Laying down the burden. What's external to you is the Ace of Wands. A new passionate start. A new creative start. Hmm. Hopes and fears. Eight of Pentacles. Nice. The outcome. Nine of Swords. So there is some uh, mental conflict, some anxiety, some mental anguish. What is this mental anguish? What is the Nine of Swords? The Hierophant. Some of you are dealing with big institutions. Some of you are waiting for word on you know maybe a job home loan something of that nature where it's you know it's um it's huge it's a big deal for you and and the anxiety is here let's see three of pentacles but it looks like you get it because the three of pentacles is signing contracts is uh going into partnership three of swords right leaving something behind or the three of swords is bittersweet uh, separation some of you are divorcing I'm hearing uh, signing the divorce papers the final papers uh, divorce separation king of wands some of you are entrepreneurs nine of wands all right so you've been through a lot in that situation uh, and the basis is nine of pentacles cro crossing it is the fool so and the foundation you've received some monetary gain this is uh, this is definitely monetary gain this is getting your finances to a place of, of where you can have partnership you can sign contracts you can invest and you're going to be like the fool and put your money somewhere or in something. You're actively doing this with the two of wands and your present energy. The reason for all of this is the queen of pentacles. You have been worried or concerned about or being more aware of your financial situation with the queen of pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus, uh, the knight of pentacles in the near future. It's just all about creating solid foundation for you monetarily. It comes maybe by way of having a new passionate and creative start somewhere. Maybe you are tapping into the creative side to where it, you can now monetize it. A new career is here with the Eight of Pentacles and the hopes and fears in the recent past with seven of wands, you were very defensive. Uh, act
acting in a defensive manner. Okay. Three of Cups. Queen of Cups. Ten of Cups. Okay, so some of you are a little bit defensive in regards to maybe a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is a Cancer in particular. Defensive in having a reconciliation. But they make you happy or they'll be happy in having a reconciliation with you or in dating you or in courting you in some, some fashion. The Wheel of Fortune is here. I wasn't necessarily pulling it on any card, so we'll leave it here. Uh, what's happening is destined to happen here, Aquarius. It looks really good. Uh, the Nine of Wands. What is the Nine of Wands? I'm concerned about the outcome of Six of Cups. Children are involved here. The past is involved, which makes you go into the Hermit mode. The Eight of Swords. Um, yeah, you're, you're mentally stuck somewhere. You're hung up on having to divorce. Some of you are having to family changes there. What is the Ten of Wands? You're releasing it, though. You're releasing the burden. The chariot and moving forward. Some of you, the burden could have been with a cancer. You are releasing a particular cancer. You don't want reunion here. We have a cancer over here also. Um, and you're moving forward effortlessly and in victory alone. What is external to use the page of cups, maybe a younger water sign or someone who has the messages of love and creation. There's a lot of passion there. What is the Two of Wands? The King of Cups. Yeah, some of you could be moving away from partnership, relationship with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Five of Pentacles. Yes, you're definitely cutting a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio out. Okay. So the outcome is pretty good. Um, you know, it's, you're going through Seven of Swords. Some of you are trying to devise a plan. Six of Wands. It looks like you have victory in devising that plan. Devise a plan of action. You aren't telling anybody about it. You're just moving forward. Okay, what are the advice cards for my Aquarius? Looks like money is good. Settlement is coming to you. Um, or money that is owed is coming to you. Which allows you to either invest, sign contracts, or some of you are actually divorcing and signing those contracts. Contracts of dissolution, you know, disillusion. Disillusion, yeah. Dissolving the marriage. Okay, we have decisions, definitely. Then we have changing your mind. And we have support. So know that in the midst this is volunteer for some of you that's significant know that you have decisions to make you need to actively make those some of you are changing your mind about maybe things about the past uh, maybe about wanting to work on a relationship or wanting reconciliation now you're changing your mind about that support is here friends family uh, volunteer uh, groups can be of support also. Some of you need to volunteer to take your mind off of all the fluctuation in a, in a decision in a family unit. Um, the family unit may be breaking down, but what is external to you is really good. There might be someone else or something else in the waiting for you. All right, so I hope this helps some of my Aquarius out. If it did, please like, share, comment. Uh, Thank you. Thank you once again for taking time out to listen to the reading. Uh, all of my information is below. I have Instago. Follow me there. Ask a question there. Instagram handles are below. Uh, choose to schedule a personal reading by email. Email address is below. Uh, fund the page. The GoFundMe link is below. Everything is below. Prices are below. All right. So remember, Aquarius, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.